It's a crazy time. Anyway, you look at it, Christmas is a crazy time. People go crazy over food and the shops are only closed for the day. Indeed, spas open tomorrow. Not that I'm at, there are other supermarkets available, of course. But we go crazy for it. For whatever reason, this one day becomes so important and we go overboard. People who are not religious suddenly have a religious inclination. It becomes a big thing. We shy away sometimes from the importance of keeping Christ in Christmas and we allow ourselves to be taken away in winter holidays and such like. A lot of that comes from the States where they wish each other a happy holiday. It's not a happy holiday, it's Merry Christmas. There are parties. How many of you have had an office party? Was it good? Did you have a good time? How many of you have not been to a party at all so far this year? Oh. My office party is a bit of a lonely affair, really. <laughs>
And if in response to thinking what, what we're going to share in for a few minutes, if you'd like to come and take a card, or while we're saying something, like, come forward and take a card and a pen, and at some point in the service, if you want to write something down, as you'll see in response to what we're about to do, then feel free to do that. And then just at the end of the service, because it's going to be like a prayer. And if you want to write something down, either to somebody's name or whatever it is, just write it down. And then just before the end of the service, at the end of the service, come forward and leave in the crib here. We had a service at 7 o'clock, it's not this evening. Not this morning, oh, definitely not this morning, oh, definitely not. not. We had one at 7 o'clock and Liz and Jean took the service with the, a lot of, there was a lot of children there and encouraged them to write their prayers and bring them to the crib. Bring them to Christ, in other words. Bring them to us, to the crib, to the foot of the cross, and bring them to Christ. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do tonight if you like. After we've heard this piece, if you want, at any time during the silent night, the carol, come forward, pick up a card and a pen and take it with you. And at some point during the service, you want to write down a few words, whatever, a name or whatever it is. And then just before the end of the service, leave it there. Just leave it at Christ. Something you want to read, just uh, something perhaps is worrying you, or some problem, whatever it is. Leave it tonight. Here in this place. Leave it behind and share the joy that is Christmas. Hear these words. Picture yourself at a table or at a desk. One you know. The one at which you would sit in order to write a letter. Picture a piece of paper before you. The kind of paper you normally write on and a pen. The kind of pen you would normally use and prepare to write. Not a letter, not a note, but some names, some words, some short words to God. Picture yourself writing to God. Writing down the things you so often keep back. In case you offend God or embarrass you, you may want to write of the pain that's not gone away, the prayer that's not been answered. The person who hopes you will fail, not succeed. The part of you that has not fallen into place. The part of God for you <coughs> which can find no place. Write it down. A word. A phrase. A name. A plea. Write it down. A word. A phrase. A name, a plea. And now, now picture yourself folding the paper in half and folding it again and looking for an envelope, but seeing a hand, a kindly hand, which doesn't scare or threaten. You look no further than the hand, for it's God's hand, and there is no need to see God's face. You give God the note of all you have kept back, of what makes you despair in the silent corners of your soul. You stare at your desk, at your table, where the paper was, and look, it's come back again, folded as before. You open it gradually, enough to see that what was there is there no longer. Instead, in another word hand, the word thanks. It is signed God. It is a PS. I mean it. If Christmas is to mean anything to us, then it is the recognition of that light that allows us to dispel the darknesses within our own lives. It is the light that dispels the darkness of fear, of rejection, of hatred, of failure. It is the light that dispels the darkness of being alone. Because God is with us through Christ, who He sent among us as His Son. Write it down a word, a phrase, a name, a plan.
plea. We come before God to sing to his glory. <coughs> and to say if you'd like to come and take one of the Christmas cards, please do. Uh, they'll be at the front here. But we're going to come and sing together hymn number 309. Still the night, hymn 309.